Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. It's Rachel here and today I am packaging up some happy mail. Happy Halloween to you all. I I hope this video is going up around Halloween, but you never know when this person will receive the mail. So happy belated Halloween maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear in the background my cat. I have a little black kitten and uh, she found one of these little chocolate eyeballs and is using it as a toy, so. That's what's going on in the background. I apologize, but sometimes it's easier if she's making a little bit of noise <laughs> rather than her being on this desk. Um, okay, so I am sending out some Halloween happy mail that I'm really excited about. And I thought it'd be fun to package it together. It's been a long time since I've done one of these videos, a long time since I've sent happy mail. And uh, you have probably seen, hopefully, by now some process videos of some of these projects and some are also on my Patreon. For example, this super cute sequin mix box, uh, the process for this is on my Patreon. So if you want to see more content from me, uh, you can head over there. But I am so excited to show you what I have here. And like I said, there's lots on my YouTube channel as well. It's not all over there, but you know, good balance of both. So let's package this together uh, for this swap. We kind of wanted it a little bit non-traditional, <coughs> excuse me, non-traditional Halloween because um, that's the style we were going for. I have a feeling hers will be a little bit more pink than mine will because she's really good at like coordinating different collections um, than I am. So I just kind of like grabbed my stash and different things that I had. Um, so we'll see how this, how this goes, but I think, I hope I incorporated enough pink. Um, I just realized that this is kind of open, so we're not going to use that one. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so I have my box here, and I lined it with some tissue paper and some pink crinkle paper to kind of make sure everything is good and safe. And we're going to start with the more flat things. So first I have this um, these gems that I got from Dollarama, and I made these bag toppers that um, I believe has a process video for this. So hopefully I made some kind of playlist and you can check it all out down below. Um, but I just paper clipped it on so she can reuse this if she wants to. As you can see, it's not glued or anything. So she can reuse that. So yay. Gotta be careful there with these spider's legs. I love the way this turned out. So I'm just gonna put this in the side because it's a little bit big for this box, but it curls around the box nicely. Uh, and then some of the other flat things. So we have this. Um, I Some of these things um, I'm either uh, re-gifting or uh, purchased from the store just the other day, actually. Well, I guess not the other day for you, but it was the other day for me. Um, and then some of these things, a lot of them, obviously, I made myself. And then some um, I have gotten in other swaps. And, uh, and so I'm kind of you know, reusing things and not throwing them out. So now Remy, my little black cat is here because she heard it was a Halloween video. So uh, I'm just gonna move her. Hopefully she'll stay on the chair, which I doubt she will. But uh, here's what I wanted to show you. Um, I am giving her this really cute um, sticker sheet. I thought she might like it. I'm just re-gifting this um, because I thought this was like the perfect thing to give um, during fall time because it has a little bit of leaves and um, I love the gold, so I hope she'll like it. And I did just a really simple bag topper. I kind of messed up on the sewing there, but otherwise pretty simple bag topper. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And then I have this one, and uh, this I believe is um, Jen Hadfield, yeah. So I thought these were like fun and fallish, and I just decorated the top a little bit. And then the next one, I found these at Dollarama, and again, I just clipped on this bag topper so she can reuse it if she wants, and I layered like a black doily and a white doily and just made it pretty simple. But I thought these stickers were so cute. I've never seen anything like these at the dollar store and they looked like pretty good quality. So I thought it was just like a fun little addition. She can just like decorate envelopes with it or something like, you know, nice little addition. So I'll pile those up. And then um, what's, what should we do next? I think we should do the big thing next. So this is a bookcase I made, and this is using um, some products from Close to My Heart, which is... Um, it's it's like a company where um how do 
I explain it? Let me go get the, uh, the little pamphlet. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. So this is close to my heart, and I do have some process videos of what I made here, and maybe more coming. I'm not sure what order these videos will go in, but they send you like a magazine with all of their products, and you can purchase them through a, like a distributor. So um, that's what that is, and I think this is really cute. So I'll show you everything that is inside this bookcase, and um, I do have a process video for this as well. So uh, I made these pretty simple, but um, I thought the sewing made it all kind of come together and I did some gold paint splatters as well. Whoops, so in this one, we have a little shaker and this I made on Patreon Live. We do a couple lives a month over on my Patreon. And then in this one, I think this is so cute. I put um, this little rosette with an eyeball on it so she can like reuse that or whatever she wants to do with it. And then um, this one I put in some fabric, passing along some fabric, fabric because I have a lot. And then this one here I put in some little sequins and then also some of these little um, key ring, binder ring, whatever these are called. So a couple colors of those. I think one of them fell out. I have a feeling <laughs> that might happen. So that's what I included in all of those. So now let me put this all back together. I tried not to do too much dimension because I have learned that um, it, it might, all the books might not fit. Oh my gosh. This is what's happening right now. I think, <laughs> I think Remy wants to go on a trip. Remy, do you wanna go on a trip? Do you wanna go to the UK? Oh boy. Cheryl, I am sorry if there's fur in your package. Remy, please get out. Okay, anyway, um, so this I am going to put... Oh, she just dropped something. This I'm going to put in this bag and um, close that just in case anything falls out. It can be kind of safe. So I'm going to squeeze that in there. Now I have to figure out what she dropped. I think it was just one of the eyeballs. Okay, and then I also have, I found this amazing cup at Dollarama. Oh, I should probably take the price tag off from the bottom. I think it'll come off pretty easily. Okay, yeah, it'll come off in one. So I thought this cup was so amazing. It's just plastic, but it's like kind of iridescent and I think it's really cute. Um, and then I just added, it fell out now, but I just added some of these little frilly thingies and, um, oh yes, I got these, um, like sugar candy skull things and I thought that looked cute. So I'm going to put it in a little bag just in case, um, you know, it gets a little, it's a little bit of a wild ride in transit. These are actually bags that I got, um, in my click kits orders. Um, and they're really, really handy. So I'm going to stuff that in the side there. And then this little box I got from a swap and I just repurposed it because, you know, I think it's good to repurpose different items. And okay, I'll take all these little thingies out. I put in some tassels, a butterfly, um, one of these flare buttons, and then I think I'll put in an eyeball as well. A chocolate eyeball, that is, <laughs> obviously. Um, and then we'll close this up. I just thought it was cute, another touch of pink. I know she was, you know, aiming for like a pink Halloween because she, oh my gosh, Remy, really? She, I don't think they celebrate UK, I mean, celebrate Halloween as much in the UK. I'm not 100% sure on that though. Um, okay. Let me just get this tied up. Okay. So I hope, uh, I hope she'll still like this. Um, I'll put that in there for now. Oh Yes. So this is one of the other bag toppers I made and I just put some sequins in at the bottom um, and just, you know, did it pretty simple like that. Uh, okay, let's do this. So as I showed you earlier, I made this in a Patreon video and I did a few mixes here. That one is from a friend and then just some mixes from my stash. So, or some sequins from my stash, I should say. Um, first of all, I'm going to put some bubble wrap, bubble stuff, um, right here. 
so that it doesn't, the sequins don't go everywhere in transit. I'm just going to fix it to be a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Um, and then I'll put the little cover on. I just don't want the sequins to go everywhere in transit. That would make me so sad. And then I found this bag in my stash. I think it's from uh, Target a couple years ago. Um, so I am using that. I'm going to put that in the bag. And it fits perfectly. So I'm going to put that in there. And then these are just some sequin mixes she ordered from my shop um, that I told her I would reimburse her for um, the shipping that she paid for. And um, I would uh, put it in her package because I knew I was sending it out soon. Okay, so I'm going to put all these mixes in this bag. And uh, put it put it all together like that and I think that looks cute so I'm gonna put that actually I put that in last uh, and then I found this little bag in my stash that I put a few little gifts in um, I made some rosettes and so I put those in I have process videos for these on my YouTube channel and then I also just put like a couple project life cards in that I thought were cute actually now that I think about it I might use this as um, my card to her I wonder if I could do that. Maybe put some white cardstock. I'll think about that. <laughs> Just an idea because I haven't done my card for her yet. So we'll do that. Um, and maybe, should I put some sequins on top? Let me grab some sequins. Um, let's do some gold stars on the top here. Um, and now I got to try and squeeze it all in. We agreed on about the size of a shoe box. So I think I did it right. Hmm, this might be a little tall. I might have to take those out. Okay, and then I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get some crinkle paper and put that on top. And then I have one more thing that I'm gonna add. I'm gonna still write my card, but I'm gonna add these straws on top. So I got these straws from the dollar store. I thought they were really cute. These are like little rubber attachments on these straws. And then I added um, like paper straws she can use for crafting or she could use it, I guess. And then these little lollipops that I got from someone else in a swap. And um, yeah, I think we'll add a little dash of sequins. Maybe I'll add something else. Hold on, let me see what else I've got here. Um, let's do some white. Oh yeah, I think the white looks really nice. Okay, well, there we go. Let's pretend I have written a card and that that's on top too. I am so happy. Excuse me, I'm so happy about this package. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for coming along with me to put it together. I think it's so cute. I'm so excited. I hope she will love it as well. And I'm sure I'll have a video coming out soon or it's already come out of um, the mail that I have received. Um, and like I said, I have process videos for these and on my Patreon as well if you wanna come join us over there. So I'll put any links down below. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.